Hi, this is Father Indigo. I'm making this tape for you know who. It works like this. How to make yourself move in five dimensions in a 3D space. The way this works is you have to first realize that when you move, you're moving through an infinite number of points. There's an infinite number of variations where your hand could be. You have to pick one variation of where it is. Now most people go through life in 3D space doing this. They're moving, they're not even thinking about it. What we do when we move through 5D space is we take the beginning point of an action, let's say me pointing straight up at the 12 o'clock, and we know the path the hand takes precisely to point at 3 o'clock. What we do is we take out all of these steps, or minimize as many as possible, in our mind. So I go from here to there, and as you see, instead of forever to get there, through an infinite point of places for this hand, I'm only picking two. One, and finished. If I encapsulate that idea within my mind, I can then use it as a part, a, piece, a puzzle piece. So for instance, when an attacker comes at me, I am going to point at him at three. If I had to think, attacker, point, point at him, I would be much, much slower. Encapsulate your ideas. Encapsulate your emotions. I'll show you how to do that right now. When you make a motion, any motion, let's go from that 12 to 3. Do it in tension and very slowly, remembering every transition of every fiber of your arm, how it feels. From 12, I am parallel to 3. I am here. And how this comes into play is in martial arts, we work in tension. So as I make my move, pinch of salt, I remember that move. I also put it in tension in my body to lock it into my memory and encapsulate it for use later. I pull up, pulling in tension, feeling it. If your hand starts to shake, you're doing it correctly. Shaking in tension. You're not shaking it. It's shaking from the tension, from being locked in its muscular state. You'll be much faster. If I say, pinch of salt, it's automatic. It comes to my mind. But I don't even have to say it, for that takes too long. So we would do a form in tension like this. First off, my hands. I'm using to gauge and take in any energy or attack. I'm going to sweep that in. I'm going to sweep that in and draw and gather my energy. Pinch of salt with the left hand to deflect any additional secondary attacks. Pinch of salt with the right hand. The left hand comes down and blocks. The right hand pinch of salt then transforms to a whip that circles encompasses and strikes with the fingertips, pinch of salt. This technique draws it into the forearm. You're protecting your throat. And that's how that's done. Pinch of salt, your first lesson. I know you can't see me, but you will. Make your dojo. Prepare.